see. This already is a good stage for Mario, though. Yeah, PS2 is pretty good for Mario in this regard. Uh, the less space the enemy has to run around, the better, but also the platforms have got Mario in terms of combos. We'll see how Master Mario can handle it. This is Wi-Fi, and we know that Master Mario excels in the online, offline space. Yeah, I'm uh, curious to see what Master Mario does to adjust for this matchup. This is like another one of these characters that's like the opposite of how Master Mario likes to play. So he usually, when you're into a matchup like this, that requires, you know, a lot more patience. It's really rough for him. Yeah, it's, it is a lot of patience that was required, obviously. We'll see. I mean, Master Mario's doing a pretty solid job. 125 to 103. He leads him with the fireball. I'm not to get that neutral. Like, I'm going to push this for more stage control back there. Oh, a lot of commitment from the down smash. There's been a lot to cover, though. Nice There's recovery. First stock. Definitely expected uh, Tony to be the one to close off the first stock there, but uh, Mario is kind of finding an opening. Yeah. And, and, and this is uh, really good for him. We talked about it earlier, but uh, having this stock lead versus Sonic is just so, so crucial. Yeah, because. Because uh, now that he's like forced to approach, it's like much easier for you. Exactly. Exactly. You want that stock lead just because now you put Sonic on the approaching end. So he's forced to more so play your game. But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, now he's able to close it up with the sword. We'll see how Master handles it. Fuck, he was very important. Let's try it. He's going to be attack though. Stage control, I like her gun. I'm almost charges the floor, but he knows Sonic is fast to come back on the stage. Nice, and show out of shield. Pretty common object you see Mario just because it's pretty fast. Landing. Oh, the double up there not working. Yeah, really Ooh. tough spot. Yeah, really tough. Finally. Yeah, huge, huge homing tackle in the back there. And now, Mario's already finding uh, the situation reversed. Oh my goodness, already at 40%, man. Finna's power is doing so much damage. And they slowly chip away too. It's not like I'm not a lot initially. It's just little by little it chips away till it takes the whole stock. And with Sonic having the speed and force and to run after him, it becomes really difficult. I hate to sound like a broken record, guys, but it's like you said, right? Having the stock lead is such an important factor in this match. Yeah, it's because you don't really have the range. Luckily for Mario, he, he has the air mobility, but not being able to really wall out Sonic, especially when, you know, he doesn't have to actively you know chase you down very very difficult for mario oh, close. oh my god oh uh, my god he just did it twice because his shield was so tiny in the first place man I, i'm amazed that he actually tried to punish that first four smash like that i would just let it rock and then try to get a punish. Yeah, see, that's the situation too. Like, if you're that side of the ledge, right? Like, throw a fireball, find another way to come back to the stage, and then just try to establish control again. But that's so hard in that situation because, like, I, I totally understand what Master wants. He wants to punish. But unfortunately, it was so good for Tony because he realized, like, hold on, the shield is small. And forward smash has a lot of pretty solid hitbox in terms of how long it lasts. So, rough, rough spot for Master here. So, yeah, I'm not surprised back on uh, Pokemon Stadium too. I mean, he pretty much like Mario just has his pick of whatever stage he uh, really wants to play on, mostly with this stage list. He has no bad stages, man. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about Mario. He actually doesn't have any bad stages in the game. In our rule set, this is really for California. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then uh, the stage that, you know, Mario usually would ban, I guess, would be like FD, but he would never want to fight Sonic on FD, I feel. So he has pretty much always a chance to play on a really good platform stage. Yeah. 
Honestly, that's how it works good for Mario. Good stuff to match for Mario. Honestly, just catching Tony in that situation with the match. Just because, look at the situation where Tony was, right? He was going to be one of the options where it was probably going to be out of shield. And then Maximo was really keen to punish him. Yep, but this is the same position Masamaru was in in the first game, so Oof. really got to, uh, you know, maintain this lead to, you know, get the, the damage he can while not, you know, doing anything too punishable. And he's fell up there like three times now. It's unfortunate for uh, Tony right, right here. Yeah. Excellent Ooh. play there, just because look at how that fireball played out. Forces Tony to go for the for the jump and then he covers a little with the flex and he wishes he would have back air. Lead kind of lost here, but it's got 80% of the name here against Tony. Nice. Down there out of shield. That's Mario is uh, starting to get some pretty good handle on how he should deal with the spin dash. Nice, I like that. Late hit of the narrative, beat him, hit him out of the spin dash, and then getting the down smash tech chase. Oh, it's resetting with the spin dash combos over and over. Ooh, homie attacking the back of exactly what you need at this point. No two frame, but still has all the stage control here. And Master Mario is just like strolling the fight outside the corner. Oh, the footstool saving his life. While also taking Tony's man of all ways to get reversal, you you hate for that to happen to you, but yeah, Mathmar will definitely take that. Oh, oh platform extension as well. Doesn't get the ending down air, but still really good for staying from Master Mario. Oh, that follow up though. Spin dash forward air is so good for Sonic, just because the initial spin dash just carries you so close off stage. Yeah. Utilizing that dash attack also, also going to be really good for covering uh, Sonic's recovery at the ledge. Yeah. It's like a down throw. Excellent use of changing it to a back air just because of how much he's going to get and Ooh. positioning as well. Fireball to see the low recovery here. Totally with the down smash. Don't have a lot of good coverage. I'm totally respect he wants to see if he can catch Tony on the slip up of the roll or directly or not. Tony turned to it up. Careful, bro. Yeah, it's only the. Tony is not really uh, falling for these punishes on defensive habits. He's actually just continuing to catch Master Mario swinging first with these spin dash uh, setups right now. Exactly. See, another up attack. I never expect to see from Master because look at the positioning of where he can catch Tony. The problem is that Tony can just always win it out. That's a bad throw that might be distracted just because of the rage and it is here. Master puts a point on the board. Yeah, great stuff uh, from Master there, just kind of keeping his composure. Especially, you know, when you have a lead like that, uh, and the opponent starts to bring it back, a lot of times you just can uh, throw off your game, you know? Start overthinking things. Start going for things that weren't really... Uh, you start go for things that you weren't doing. Like, deviate from your game plan that's working, is what I'm trying to say. But I feel like Master Mario didn't really let that happen, that game. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts to Hover with a really good note. <laughs> As you guys know, I already know this. Here loses quarters in his best of three. Let's see how things go here between these two players, of course. Well, this is still best of five, right? Sorry, sorry. I'm it's so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's top. I'm sorry. Yeah, best of five. My apologies. Okay. 
So Tony, I'm gonna go town here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out for him. Definitely think it's a great Mario stage. But uh, so far, he's just been punching Master Mario's landings over and over. Yeah, Mario, he's great on this stage if he's able to utilize the platforms. But if you can't even find that opening to get started on those combos, it's going to be really, really difficult, as you can see right now. Yeah, 141 hit at 37. Finally gets a leading hit with the fireball. Fireball looks like it a lot of different chances because it's usually a pretty solid first thing option, but which allows him to put off stage, uh, I'm not sorry, off stage pressure, but it allows him to push his opponent off stage. Oh, oh not enough. 89 to 151 here, but look at pretty much almost even game with the mass is going to stop. Uh, so I want to reach for a smash. Nice down there. Oh, sneaks in that hitbox, man. Gasparo definitely thought he would win that trade situation. Of course, for him, Tony is going to find that first stock. And, uh, yeah, Gasparo keeps going in with the, the fireball, like, run behind the fireball, try to get, you know, hit him from off of it. Uh, I, I definitely think Tony is on to that right now. Yeah, He's going to have to change it up. Oh! Like, mm, tough spot, tough spot. Yeah. Able to recover. There's the base pistol. I not saved yet. Got a massive so close. Get a blitz again, fireball lead in. I think that's the mass definitely needs to rely on just because look at the situation that fireball puts in. He even talked about it with sharp, right? Forces an opponent to pick an option. They hold shield, they go for you can grab. They go for an arrow, you can nair. And then that pushes a lot of pressure. If they roll, you can still lead in and lead that. So it's big for massive here. It's a grab hit, it's a backward push stage control and a flood. Oh man, Tony getting thirsty with these up smashes. Luckily, he's uh, not getting punished super hard for them. Okay, nice. Catching the DIN on that down throw. Close. He really wanted to see if he can catch the line of the force. Really so in a bad spot off stage, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, he caught him in the run. Good play, good play. Yeah, that was just really good ledge uh, patience there for Matt tomorrow, just to open up the opportunity to sneak in that up smash too. Oh, chance for a big combo here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't go for the nair. He didn't go for the nair route. Yeah. I thought he would go for that. Just this, uh, you know, set up a tech chase or maybe even a re-grab. Again. This is a scenario where Master really has to watch out. Look at how much Tony is able to get in here with Big Dash. I'm just able to actually use him in attack in this situation. So like you said, Trice, he kind of finally caught on to that fireball play here. Yep. Uh, watch the get up. Mm. Oh, you got hit by the Hypno Force Smash, dude. Literally picked the one option he should not have picked to get hit by that. And the first time he was fine because he got up and he shielded. But this situation here, just Tony, just ugh, man, he made it work. He made it work. He knows how to like specifically get it within that frame that he got up. And it's because forward smash just last has a pretty good lasting frames. So tough spot for Master though. I think for Master in this scenario, in this scenario too, sometimes it's a little bit more impatient. There's a couple of times we took a lot of percent just trying to go for forward smash and call out Tony, but you always have to remember, Sonic can just bait you out. That's how the character is designed, specifically to bait and punish you with great speed and moves like spin dash that allows him to go in and out and then damage you for it. Just follow ups after spin dash. So you always gotta be really when you try to punish spin dash a little too much. So yeah, a unless your timing is just that good on it, like, especially if you know how they're going to approach a spin dash, most of the time, uh, if you miss, you're just going to eat so much percent. Exactly. So far, though, so far, so good for Master Mario. Crazy thing about Mario 2 and Sonic is, like, the Sonic in order for him to get a burst option is pretty, and it revolves him around getting spin dash with uh, a fire mode, right? Same thing for Mario. He either gets a burst option through grab, or through landing with an aerial. So both players kind of just understand how those game plans work. You can see it in terms oh. of the grab here. Nice. It's a Dude, everyone try to shield grab Mario's back here. You cannot. 
Especially if it crosses you up. Great up smash go for Master Mario. Again, he, he's really good at catching uh, Tony's landing nice. with that. Nice. Yep, I like that back into the grab. Oh, he read oh, that. No. So hard. But terrible spacing on that. Um, I mean, he did get a good percent, but I would never want to throw away a stock versus a Sonic player. <laughs> Especially one as good as Tony. But nice hit confirmed from the Nair. Again, getting really, really safe percent right now. Uh, Griffin Master too. You can see that he angled the shield upwards just because he knows he's not shield poke if he doesn't go through properly. Always remember, there's a lot of moves you can actually just angle your shield and you avoid doing shield poke, especially when you're moving your shield poke. Yep, that's very true. Okay. Tony, man, he just doesn't stay behind for very long. No, not at all. Oh. Yeah, that's why you wanna. Uh, that's why you wanna roll or spot dodge the homie attacker. Then he'll, he won't get the chance of getting like a air dodge, directional air dodge mix up after he misses. Like if you just shield it, you can just like directional air dodge. Nice. Yeah. So consistent. Okay, Master Mario, you don't want to take too much percent on this last stock before you get to do anything really. Especially because, you know, already at two games here for Tony, he just needs one more stock. Oh man, it's big percent right now. The back throw. Oh, great mash. But doesn't sneak in the forward smash. Tries for a down and out of shield. Master in such a tough spot here. You can tell the Tony is getting in and out of that range. He's going back down with the grab here. Forward air. Close with the back air. We're going to kill, but definitely going to put Master in such a tough spot here. Ready with the forward air. And the Tony is seeing blood in the water. What's the call this game of it? Yeah, Master at this point, yeah, he's really looking for the stray hits just because something like that that percent where he can't really get too much guaranteed you know, combos to get the kill and uh oh, oh man that was su Been such there. a that was such a huge whiff punish like at that point masmar was like so desperate to get something started that he just like holding in on sonic trying to get like a combo starter and uh if if the sonic knows you're gonna do that it's very simple to punish with spin dash <laughs> 